What is up everybody, Steve here. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to talk about the top 10 signs of a housing bubble. This is coming from John Burns. It's very, very interesting. That's why I wanted to bring uh, some light to it. But basically this was created back in 2013, which was really the bottom of the housing bubble in the last crash. And uh, this was last reviewed in uh, September of 2022, and it's broken into two different sections. So everything in red on here is prominent in most markets, and both on the qualitative side as well as the quantitative side, both came out in September of this year of eight out of 10. So things are not looking so good for the housing market pertaining to this report. So uh, the first thing are luxury cars for the staff. This is not prevalent and it's not well uh, widespread so that's left off multiple homes for everyone when your hairdresser cab driver or nanny buys multiple homes outlandish parties prominent in most markets creative mortgages not widespread at this point the frank dodd act prevented most of this however we are starting to see adjustable rate mortgages a big big uptick of that and i think unfortunately sadly a lot of people will get hurt so i believe that creative mortgages will probably uh flip on this report maybe toward the end of this year uh truck stop feasibility when your land acquisition vp brings you a deal in a city you've only visited once in a while lazy underwriting widespread when you are outbid by somebody who's told to buy the land deal no matter what um, new urban paradigm shift when a staff member suggests a podium deal or condo. Booming real estate careers when real estate agent is the fastest growing occupation. Um, I also did a video on this that I predict that, uh, and I'll put it toward the end of this video, I predict over 400,000 real estate agents will go out of business. And uh, if you guys are a real estate agent, be sure you check the links below on some of the courses on how to thrive in a down real estate market. Uh, reality TV, we're seeing that all over the place. We're seeing HGTV, a lot of these buy and flip shows. So that is widespread. Excessive investments, when you improve 500 lots and you only need 150 this year, <clears throat> and you are worried about filling your land pipeline. A lot of builders are seeing this right now where they've overbuilt, they've overbought, and they are going to be stuck with inventory. We're seeing it here on a local level in Southwest Florida as well. A lot of builders are dropping price and they're dropping price aggressively. I predicted that this would happen. I said that in, in the beginning, we're going to start to see a big influx of incentives for buyers, whether it's closing costs to be paid for by the developer or incentives for upgrades, as well as an increase in real estate commissions for real estate agents, and then we will see price reductions. That has all come together. Now let's jump over to quantitative side. Again, remember the green is not widespread. So very high supply. Right now, we still have a supply issue. We do not have a lot of inventory on market, and um, unfortunately, that is hurting people still right now. I believe we will start to see that shift when we start to see job losses, um, because despite what people are locked in at, what rate they're locked in at, if somebody loses their job, they can't pay their mortgage, and they go delinquent, they're gonna be forced to sell that property no matter what. So right now we do not have a high supply of inventory like we did in the last crash. Uh, we do have very poor affordability. We do have waning dem uh, demand uh, when annual job growth is less than annual construction. Falling sales when tra trailing 12 month total sales begin to trail down um, while your cancellation rates spike. We're seeing that across the board. Uh, falling builder stock prices, obviously all the big builders were seeing those stock prices crash. We have seen that happen over the last 12 months where they are losing valuation in on their stocks. Rising home equity cash out when home equity lending is much higher than normal. I spoke about this in multiple videos as well where people are doing cash out refis. So they're tapping into that equity and who knows what they're utilizing it for. Unfortunately, I think people were tapping into that equity and using it to buy stuff and buy not necessarily assets. And I think it's gonna bite them in the rear, especially if they have to go ahead and sell that property. They no longer have any equity in that property and they are gonna be underwater. They're gonna be in upside down position. Uh, impossible market share when 10 builders announced they will be in the top five. Uh, number eight, which is not widespread, mortgage defaults and arms 
Not yet. Historic margins when gross margins, margins on multiple projects exceed 35%. <clears throat> developer profits disappear that is happening right now when builders are willing to develop their own lots and they're not necessarily making that margin anymore they're just basically sustaining they're basically just keeping people at bay in terms of their own people uh salary position hourly position as well as their contractors every uh qualitative sign and quantitative sign as of september of this year eight out of ten Again, things are not looking good for the housing market. If you guys are on the sidelines, you know you just have to be patient through this time um, because it does take time in the real estate market to start to turn, start to shift. We're already shifting, but <clears throat> the next phase of things, our prices will start to come down in many markets and keep your eye out for that. Um, as always, be patient, get out of personal debt, keep your credit as high as possible, and coming into this new market, you guys will have a lot of opportunity and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for being here.